Hi there, welcome back and a happy Easter weekend to everybody. So in this video today, we're going to demonstrate our version of an Easter egg. So in our house, we don't tend to eat a lot of chocolate Easter eggs, um, but decorative ones are definitely acceptable. So Wayne's doing the demo today and he's going to use an egg shaped silicon mold. He's going to use um, some of those mini stir sticks, a pet regular paintbrush, some isopropyl alcohol, some little uh, cups. You by all means don't, you don't have to use plastic. You can use uh, uh, silicon ones and uh, some beautiful mica pigments. These are supplied in a kit that we got recently. Um, now again, I no idea how you pronounce this name of this brand. Uh, Ghoul, I'm going to say it is, although that's probably not how you pronounce it. But everything we've used in today's video will be listed in the description box below with links and so on and so forth. So it's just putting a little bit of isopropyl alcohol in each of these little um, cups. Here we are. Obviously, I don't have to tell you, please be sensible, this is not drinking alcohol. This is um, alcohol that you would use to wipe down surfaces, uh, sometimes found in antibacterial hand gel, and so on and so forth. And obviously, it is the kind that you would put in an atomizer spray to spray over the surface of resin, which helps dissipate any bubbles. So there we go, we've divided that up. Now, he's going to put in some of this beautiful violet-coloured mica powder into the first one and mix it up. So there we are, we're just going to risk checking how much he's measuring out. Uh, I would say that's probably about a quarter of a teaspoon. Oh, yeah, quarter of a teaspoon. Popped it into the isopropyl alcohol and it mixes in really quickly. There we go, becomes a solution. Oops, a little bit of spillage there. Don't worry if you spill this on yourself, you're, it's not going to hurt you. Um, although by all means, please wear gloves, respirator mask and work in a well-ventilated area. So there we go in with a beautiful green colour. Absolutely gorgeous, these colours. As I say, this is our interpretation of an Easter egg. <laughs> there we are. And here we go with this beautiful, vibrant, reddish, looks reddish pink to me, um, but I think it is actually described as being a red. Yeah. Again, that one stirs in very, very quickly. Not very much you'll notice uh, in the way of a solution, but that's all that's needed. And look at this gold. Look at the sparkle on that. Fantastic. Yeah. And a, a real true gold, not a dark gold, not a pale gold, a true, true, like molten metal gold, how you would imagine it to look. Oh, look at that. Look at the way that's shining and sparkling. Beautiful blue. Reminds me of the Greek islands, this does. And all the lovely um, blue and white buildings that you see out there. Why not, why not uh, pop us a comment? Uh, have you ever been to the Greek islands? There we are. So, started off doing this. So, he's using the little stir stick there and he's just popping it into the isopropyl alcohol and mica mix and he is letting it just drip from the top all the way down the sides and now this is the inside of that egg shaped mold uh, you didn't see him do it but he has turned it inside out and there you go you see it's just creating those lines so that it is random you know it doesn't look it but it is random this and doing again the same thing with the blue there we are looking gorgeous and obviously it is going so in some places it's going uh, over the red uh, mica solution, alcohol mica, mica solution, in other places not. But that's absolutely fine because I'm sure everybody knows that red and um, blue make purple. Purple being one of our favourite colours. There we go. Doesn't matter if it doesn't go exactly where you would like it to go. Um, it's going to do, this is pretty 
um, free flowing, free form, almost like an abstract uh, vision or version of an egg. Can anybody guess what kind of design Wayne is basing this project on? Why not pop your answer in the comments box? You never know. To me at this point it reminded me a bit of the old style hot air balloons that you would see illustrated in books and things. Um, what do you think? So there we go, the green is moving now down the mould and here we go with this fantastic gold. Wow. Now the solution does actually dry quite quickly as you can probably tell from there. The um, red is completely dry, the blue is dry. Um, it, it helps but it also hinders a bit. But there we go. By all means, if you want to use a paintbrush, you could use a paintbrush um, or a very thin micro brush would do just as good a job. Um, but we just wanted to see if it would work and we would get the effect we really want using these uh, smaller stir sticks. Now, he swapped over because there wasn't, basically, it wasn't going far enough down the mould. So you can see he's put the glove on his hand, he's put the mould over his two fingers and he's just using the brush there with the mica powder and alcohol coloured solutions just to decorate down further down the egg. So he's just looking to see how far down had the colour gone and then he's just following it down with a bit more of the solution using a paintbrush. And this did dry incredibly quickly. I mean, literally within a matter of a few minutes, it was completely dry. There we are. In some places it did uh, paint onto the mould easier than in others. Um, some of the colours looked darker than we were expected and some not quite so dark. So now what he's done, if you can see on the left there, sorry about all the dirt on the, all the different colours on the... Uh, kitchen towel that's where he was wiping the brush he's made up some resin this is tea expert resin one-to-one -one mixing ratio it's our favorite resin that we like to use and he's added in some white fluorescent or fluorescing white um, of the uh, mica powder pigment which also is made by the same brand as the other ones and he's just mixing that up. Obviously, he doesn't mix that quickly. This has been sped up a bit. But the mould on the left-hand side, now that is the mould you just saw him painting. He has very, very carefully turned it back the inside out, the way it should be. Uh, this mould is very well supported on the base. Um, and he is just pouring in that beautiful white-coloured, pearlescent white-coloured resin. There are a few bubbles in there, but to be honest, that really doesn't matter with this particular project. By all means, wait a few minutes, see if the bubbles degas themselves. If they don't, you could use a uh, long nosed or long nosed, a long necked lighter to get rid of a few of them or put them through a debubbling machine like the one we have, which is by Resiners. So there we are, almost to the very top. In quite the close-up shot there of the container with the res in it. Sorry about that. So there you can see it's come to the top. A few little bubbles there. And it's take, it does take on the colours of, of the mica powders. Right, now, we did have some resin left over. So we went and got, what other things do you like to have at Easter? What about the Easter bunny? That is definitely... A uh, character from my childhood, stories of the Easter bunny, leaving Easter eggs, going off and doing Easter egg hunts. So what Wayne's done is he's just pouring, he's, or he has poured, a small amount of the resin into the mould. Um, just giving it a little squidge round the ears, round where the nose is, some of where the detail is, and also where some of it might get, um, maybe get some air bubbles trapped. And it's just filling in some more of the resin into the mould there beautiful pearlescent white. I'm just going to fill it up to the top now uh, and there we go. So this now 
is a good 24 hours later and he's demolding that beautiful egg shaped mold look at the way those colors have i mean look at i mean wow I, I don't know quite what to say to be honest this definitely reminds me of um the you know the pictures i've seen in books from a child um of old style sort of balloons and things now first things first wayne wasn't completely happy with the way the mica colors had gone down into the mold um it's definitely beautiful but not quite what he wanted so you'll see what he does with that in a moment or two here is the bunny mr easter bunny himself wow look at that little tail oh and the feet i'd forgotten just how cute this mold is actually so there we go now i was saying to him at this point are you just going to leave this pearlescent white bunny as it is and he said N no <laughs> um now here it is i mean you can see the detail i mean look at and it's the eyes and the expression and that little lovely little cotton tail there little puffy tail beautiful lovely detail now you can decorate that more if you wish now back to the egg we are wayne's got he said well, he was just talking to me before this about you know how, what should i do and i I, I said well it reminds me a bit of another style of egg so we got he got we've got these gold relief pens which you will have seen him use before if you've seen a collaboration that we did earlier in the year uh valentine's day collaboration where he used it to create a beautiful uh picture of a single rose so there we are he's just going around he's making scroll type or and, uh, the scroll or squiggle scroll type shapes on it and he continued to do that with the egg and he's done it all the way around um, now, yes, it's not as smooth as he would have liked, but it gives the effect, I think, and he does too, of a Fabergé style egg. If you don't know what that is, then, uh, you know, pop the word Fabergé into Google. And it's a particular design, I believe originating in Russia, perhaps, or Prussia, as it used to be back, you know, a couple of hundred, two, three hundred years ago, um, of a particular designer called Fabergé. And the eggs are absolutely stunning, stunning uh, ornamental pieces. Anyway, so he's applying these lovely little, um, they're like, like little crystals almost with a sticky back little sticky crystal rhinestones and sorry yes this bit is sped up because it took a long while to do that but he's going around and he's using what looks like an almost ombre style selection of colors there from gold to paler gold to more of an um a, a brownie bronzy color gold so he went all the way around on the egg filling in the bits that he wasn't completely happy with. Uh, again, it's very difficult trying to be deliberately random with some things. Um, Wayne has a problem with that kind of design, but I think he managed this really, really well. I will say that the resin really did the job as well here. Uh, it cured beautifully. So here we are at the end of the video with the final shot. There's Mr. Bunny and he did come true and decorate it he's got little gold ears eyes a little bit of rhinestone detail and here is the egg look at it in all its glory we have popped it on a little stand there on a velvet cushion so uh given it it's right of place hope you've enjoyed this video happy easter uh easter weekend everybody and uh thanks for tuning in watching don't forget to like share and subscribe take care goodbye mm -hmm.